Printmaking is an often misunderstood art form. It's often categorized more closely with mass production than it is with one-of-a-kind works of art. But if you look beyond the superficial definition of printmaking and pay attention to processes such as monoprint, you'll quickly discover that prints can be as unique as paintings. We visited artist Nick Ruth to learn more about his process. Take a look. Printmaking has changed my approach to making images because it's offered different ways for me to apply forms and colors to uh, a surface. There's this weird and strange alchemy that's involved in two-dimensional visual art because at some level we're trafficking in the illusion of depth, but everybody knows that the thing is flat. I come up through a painting and drawing tradition where obviously you're only making one image at a time. And then I got introduced to printmaking, not as a means for me to be able to make 500 of an individual image and get them out into the public, but because it was a different set of materials and a different way of visually investigating ideas. Its techniques looks different than painting and it looks different than drawing. It has different kinds of subtleties, different kinds of depth, different kinds of color possibilities is the perfect kind of blend between painting and printmaking. It allows me to create big, broad areas of uh, resonant, transparent color um, in a pretty direct and straightforward way, something that would be pretty difficult to accomplish in a painting. So it has an allure for me, um, specifically because of the way it looks and what it can do technically. When I am making a print, it's a one of a kind right from the beginning. I'm not intending to be able to reproduce it. Um, and I'm imagining it as a singular image as if it were a drawing or, or a painting that allows me to be experimental and exploratory in the way I make marks and the way I build up colors and the way the image ultimately kind of comes together. And so I'm only ever really aiming for making that one image and making it as good as I possibly can. Part of the reason why imagery repeats itself in my pictures is because I'm interested in those themes. But it's never quite as simple as just a question of what the themes are. It's always also a question of what the forms are because I'm a visual artist and really I'm driven by visual choice making. I, I find forms that I think will hold color and animate space in a way that will be dynamic and rich and unfolding over time for, for a viewer and become uh, an object of contemplation for them. So once I've landed on a form, I find that I want to use those forms again and again and again to investigate the various ways in which I can use them to construct space and color and light and meaning. When I make my pictures, part of what I'm trying to do is create a, a visual experience that just resonates for me at, at some visceral level about how I feel, but I'm also trying to connect to that set of the complexity of what communication is really about, you know, just how hard it can be. I see communication as this thing that defines human existence, and I see it as something problematic, and that is something that ends up coming across in the work that I make. When I'm in the studio, I end up working with highly transparent layers of ink that I successively layer into the print. So after I make that first layer, then I bring the print into the studio, I spend some time with it, I imagine what could be next. And then I'll go back into the shop and I'll lay down some more color based on what I've decided should happen next. And then I'll work the color into the plate and print it again. And then I'll look at that proof and I'll say, well, how's that going? What's happening here? Could I try something more dense? Could I try something less dense? Or should I add a new form in order to get the picture to ultimately express the kinds of things I, I want to express? I consider the, the formal qualities, the shapes, the colors, the space that gets created to be an equal partner with the thematic concerns. It's not just that they're necessary to one another, you can't have one without the other, but that they influence one another, that the way I make shapes and the way I make colors shapes the way I think about the imagery I work with. And the imagery I work with leads me to make decisions about the way I want to make shapes and make colors. And there's this ongoing symbiotic relationship 
that's absolutely necessary for me for the work to have lasting value. For more information, visit nicholashruth.com. Nick is also a member of the Print Club of Rochester, which is having a members exhibition at SUNY Brockport's Tower Fine Arts Center. The show is on display until December 9th. For more information, visit printclubofrochester.org.